So William Marshall. I had better keep that in mind. It's locked. Didn't want to be. Oh, okay. Last floor to get the key. key to that box. I'll find it. So William Marshall, as in the not the founder of the Ascalon Club, but you know, said the greatest knight ever, and sort of the the guy who that Ascalon guy is based his whole life around because he thinks he's related. Edgar didn't even want to be a vampire. He was trying to Edgar. cure himself. Can you hear me, Jonathan? Is it really you? Easy, easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, video. Good time to check my phone. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... They tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Do you script your videos? I script some videos, not most of them. You guys will, you know, save your mate and turn him into a vampire. I really don't trust this guy. I very much suspect he's actually up to something. He's got a very deep obsession with vampires. I have a feeling he's rigging this up partly to get me to turn him in the first place. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not as convinced as you all are, I've got to say. In fact, I've got two hints locked, this isn't good, I suppose. Edgar, as much as I would like to believe you, I have a few concerns that require clarification. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I... Say He's I'm dodging for another round of questions. He's up to, yeah, he's up to Why something. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. I don't want to know before I do it, but... Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Now, he isn't even that wrong, because didn't we just see that the brothers were having a meeting with William to try to cure him? While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. 
She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. Call in Dr. Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. That's why we got blamed. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher <laughs> once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Yeah, I answered your question. Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? Didn't I? The epidemic, the link between Doris and Harriet, the suspicion of McCullum. How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Yo, can we... Like, like I'm not having a go. Low, quiet voice here. Can we try to refrain from checking things out before we've done it? I don't. I don't want to know. You know. I. I want to follow my own Doris moral code. And, more than a and see what happens. Family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar. This is no coincidence. I swear, I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan. No diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. You did start My it. only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it, I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no one. murderer. I never asked to become what I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. Can I just say that I called this? Beside me. You me? saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. <laughs> Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Right then, <clears throat> I'm not turning him. Mm. I'm not turning him. I'm not. For a start, I'm not throwing away 3,000 bloody XP. Not a chance. He deserves to die. He doesn't des <sighs> He started the entire bloody epidemic. And whilst I don't think he necessarily, like, I don't want to necessarily kill him. I also don't want to turn him, make him into a vampire. He's just going to be worse and worse and worse. Imagine, like, his whole thing was that like, he started this epidemic by transfusing vampire blood, right? Imagine if he was a vampire. The madness he would do. I don't think any of these get me XP for this. Oh, I'll probably get some. I don't think I'm just going to let him die, but I am going to embrace him. I've decided. Yes. Your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear it will be quick. 
I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. <laughs> you, you and the lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered. I think it hurt. Yo, this wasn't evil. This was the moral thing to do, in my opinion. How is this not the right thing to do? I, I don't see... Turning him seems less moral to me. He's a bad man at the end of the day. He did some really shifty stuff. Just because we like him doesn't mean we can excuse it all. Is that how the world works? I wonder if that was the key for the safe. We're way too late for the vampire army now. If I was going to do the vampire army, I should have done it bloody ages ago. Alright, now. It's down here somewhere. Where's that? Oh, shut up. Where's that safe at? Is it in here? No. It's in here, then. in here I remember it's this it's locked all right where's the frick's the key then they said on the last floor so I mean top floor that'd be silly it must be on it must be down here somewhere he, he doesn't just save people he killed countless people he is solely responsible for the events of the entire game so far and every single person that's died is his fault Many doctors have the frickin' what's his name? Shipman, that doctor who murdered like 70 people. He's a just because he's a doctor doesn't mean we can't kill him afterwards. God damn it. Doesn't matter if it's not on purpose. If I'm drunk driving and I slam into 20 people and kill them all, I should still go down for it, you know? You are responsible for the consequences of your actions, however intended. Where the hell's this thing? I guess it is top floor. You can't murder like 80 people or however many it's been. You know, every single person dead in Whitechapel is his fault, essentially. All the other people, all those skulls, everything, all those people we saw in the sewers infected and left to rot in pain and agony for the rest of their immortal lives, his fault, all of it. I don't see how anyone can possibly justify any other option than what I did, frankly. Ow! Stop it! Gotta get those doubles! No, oh, manslaughter's not the same as murder. Manslaughter's unintentional murder, basically. Fear no evil! Oh, that was the key. Okay. Weird. I just don't... I just don't see why you turn him. Like, think about what he did with a little vampire blood. What's he gonna do with a lot of vampire blood, right? He killed so many people. He didn't... He, 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 I was never gonna turn him. I don't I don't want to turn him anyway. Like, I'm, I've been against that for the entire game. The whole point being I don't want a vampire progeny. I don't want this life. I don't want to spread more vampires in the game at all. I'm, I'm avoiding that at every possible... Um, every time I get the chance to avoid turning someone, I've been doing it. I've had three chances so far. I've not taken it once. Yeah, I don't know, Zeno. I think it's just... When you bite someone to turn them, you kind of impart some of your soul into them. That came up before. You like you put some of your power through them. So I guess you can just turn, choose whether to turn on or not, basically. Now, where's that blimmin' little safe? Ah, there it is. This better be good. <laughs> really don't know if I should read this. Right, I'm not gonna take it back. He's a nice. He's a nice guy. 
He's a nice guy. He hasn't given me any reason to betray his trust quite yet. What skulls? The skulls are basically the same as um, the other vampires. As far as I know. Well, the skulls are created differently. The skulls are kind of created through an infection. Like this epidemic through like lower quality blood. Because Lady Ashbury's blood was put into a human. Right, which is obviously bad. Because she's human. She shouldn't have thingy blood. So it's like less pure. So skulls are basically like a less pure bloodline as far as I can tell. They've like... Because that, that vampiric blood of Lady Ashbury was mixed in with the blood of a human in Harriet Jones. And that's where the infection all kind of started from. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. I'm just so good at everything, it's crazy. Prepare to fight the disaster. Oh, should we go turn this quest in quickly? Yeah, let's go do that. I am very single. Are you are you interested? Is that what's going on here? I'm down. It's a mate! It's a mate! Shut up. Yeah, yeah, and that makes skulls instead of like pure immortal vampires. That's what I got anyway. And it kind of spreads more, like, somewhat like a virus. So great is the corruption. This is my territory. Nobody's, nobody said we're dating, fam. Chill. Hmm, don't get too offended about it. Jesus. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, never mind. I don't know if I'm doing votes anymore for the playthroughs. I think I'm just going to play stuff that I feel like playing. Don't you know? Old Margaret is the name of the Skull Lady. Something Margaret. Is Margaret right? I think it's Margaret. Bridget, never mind, ignore me. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Right. I love the music in this place. Oh, I should sleep as well. Oh, maybe I don't want to. Everything's kind of kicking off. I'm kind of worried that if I sleep, something bad's going to go down. So many signs to interpret. Good evening. What do you think? I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewan stole from you. And you brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? Yes. I give it back to you untouched. Then, my friend, you deserve a little something to reward your fortitude. Please, have this with my gratitude. What's in the notebook? I can't answer you, Jonathan, since you chose not to open it. But now I want to know! <laughs> But now I want to know! How do you measure the... Oh, I've already done this one. I would... Yeah. But... Meh. Meh. I could just kill him. Oh, I want to know what he's been up to. I have a horrible feeling. Maybe he's evil on the sly. And I'll never know because I didn't read the thing. I should have just read it. I wanted to read it. I should have just bloody read it. Did I get anything for that at all? Oh. Oh. Calhoun got with Doris. Interesting. Did I? I didn't get anything new. I think that Lord Redgrave was the one to turn old Bridget into a skull. Since he can only make skulls and there's obviously some history between them. Maybe Bridget was his lover or wife. I did this is all I got. I don't I don't have a note. 
I'm sorry to tell you. These are in order, aren't they? Yeah. That's the newest thing I've got, and it's a love letter. It's, I already read it. It's nothing. Right. Away we go. Let's just go. Is this. Oh no, that's the other place. Okay, no mind. Where these get replaced every time I come down here. They weren't here a second ago. Well, they were, and I blimmin destroyed them. Can I go this way? I hope we're feeling. I can usually jump up there, but I can't. Do you bloody mind? <laughs> Taylor, send Manchester off a night out. Look at it. Don't mind me. Oh my me, all is well here. Turn it to tall tree, you'll get an exclusive collectible with the randomized symbols. I didn't get it. Tall tree is the right dude, right? Yeah, I didn't get it. I'm telling you. No oh, wait, unless it's in Unless my bag is full. This looks full, doesn't it? But I can't get rid of things, so. Yeah, I, I did get something. I got that. Look, there's nothing else here. Fem, these are in order. These are in order that I acquire them. It's the very first thing I got. And this is the last thing I got. I just opened it. This is the stuff we got in the um, theatre before. This is the thing about William Marshall and the blood that I read out before. This was the thing about, you know, look, it's in order. I, th I don't know what to tell you, it's not there. This is the only place the collectibles go, right? I'm checking. I don't see anything. No. I don't know where else it would be. It's all junk. Unless I got one of these. Ah, collectibles, yeah, maybe it is here. I don't know which one he bloody gave me though. Do you know what it's called? Let's check all of them quickly. That looks and it's a diamond, but I don't see how that's helpful. Does it not say on there? I don't see how that helps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that what it means? If it's random, the text's not going to help, is it? There's nothing in the text about it. I'm, I'm looking at this here. Isn't this it? Is it not based on that? Because I'm thinking that you start there, you go there, and you hit that again. Because it's like kind of... I'm going to go try that out. Oh, I don't want to go all the way bloody back.
Am I right way? Y'all are making a much bigger deal out of them having my number than you should do. There's a few followers who have my phone number. Not many, admittedly, but a few. You guys are weird. Okay, I'm, I've got a theory about this. I'm going to go try it out. I just want to hang out here for the music. <clears throat> Which one was it again? This one? Da, da, da. One, two, two. Alright, let's try this out. So I want to go. Nope, okay, let's just start from here. Huh? Eh? Except anyone on Steam. No, fam, I do not. I don't talk to anyone on Steam. Um, I don't accept anyone. I stopped accepting people ages ago because my friend list actually got full, so I purged it off like 99% of people and just stopped adding people. I want to get this. I did. Now that this is started, I have to get it right, right? Is there anything in the text about this? I don't think there is. Because if it's randomized, it's not going to be the text, right? No, it's nothing in text. Whoa, I want to read this message. What did text say? You can, no. That was it, that was it. Well, it's not my phone number. It's American for a start, but whatever, it's fine. I suppose it's not necessarily American, but that's not my phone number either way. Can you untime someone out? I don't understand this puzzle. What am I missing? Why is there a square and a P? And a diamond, and a fish. That's fair enough. <laughs> it is from the UK. Just, just not usually how we'd type it. What am I missing here? How does that pattern right there? Because that is way too suspicious to not be related, right? But how does that... Maybe it's the other way around? I guess. Do you want to give me the order? You can, if you can Google it, yeah, because I don't have a bloody clue. I'm just going to try reverse what I just did. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Fish circle square, circle fish diamond. Okay. How do you know that? Is that on the thing? Is it mentioned anywhere? What am I missing? Fish circle square. Fish, circle, square, circle, fish, diamond. Fish, circle, square, circle, fish, diamond. But what? why? That's what I'm curious about. Why? <laughs> I don't understand why. <laughs> Is there not two parts of this? I feel like I'm missing something. Like a third piece of paper that tells you the actual order. Because I don't think this is meant to tell you the order. This tells you which one goes in which spot, but it doesn't tell you... Which order they're meant to be done in. Fish circle square. So that's top, left, bottom, left, top, right. Yeah? 
top left bottom left up right I think I've missed something no you cannot have my number fish circle square circle fish diamond fish circle square circle fish diamond okay fish circle square circle fish diamond that was why <laughs> uh, okay what's that achievement cause find the recollection of Paulus I have no idea anything about this I feel like I've missed something Oh my freaking god. <laughs> True Dragon Bane. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's a monster. Can't use it yet. It's not actually upgraded as much as mine is, but still. The sword better be good. Tanya. I've come to really rely on my machete just because it generates blood, which is really important for me, for my playstyle. So I'm not convinced we're actually going to want to use this sword, but we'll give it a go. Let's see if we can upgrade it and make it viable. Everything's fully upgraded now anyway, so I don't really need to worry about wasting stuff necessarily. Do I have a table in here? I do. Oh, right, yeah. William Marshall's memoirs. Oh, sweet. Antidote. Whoa. A serum created by following the tea of angels recipe with insulin instead of garlic. So we need William Marshall's blood, King Arthur's blood, and a dose of insulin. And that's gonna that's an antidote to vampirism. Cool. Oh, the um Brotherhood of St. Paul was founded by the guy I just got the sword from. Oh, I can still pick these. Is there any blood ones? Oh, ah, that's the stuff. Oh, I don't know, right. 210 damage against... Okay, at the moment it does 10 less damage, absorbs 10 less blood. Now it does 10 more damage and absorbs 10 less blood. But I can change that, right? I can give it... I can give it 5 blood absorption. Do I need the blood absorption? I don't really have any other way of doing it and I am quite blood based in combat. I think we have to still go for it. But now we can go for damage or stamina. Damage. No great again? No great again. Oh, look at that damage. Whoa. I'm all over this. Damage. Oh no. Oh no, I need one aluminium part. This is definitely an upgrade though, I think. I'm gonna get less blood, but my damage has gone up by tons. Plus it looks cooler. It really isn't that what matters. Look at that damage increase, 158. Oh, it's slower. I got attack speed the wrong way around. Still. Plus it's a sword. <laughs> Priorities in order. I think we're gonna go to sleep. Is it gonna be okay? It's probably gonna be okay. Right then, blood spear. Wait, do I want to focus on blood anymore, given the situation? Yeah, I suppose. I've been waiting for this blood spear upgrade for ages. Yeah, it's really good. Can I upgrade my ultimate? Maybe? Recovery time. Mm, yeah, okay. Maybe my... Yep, that'll do. Recovery time down by five seconds. I'm just going to upgrade this a little bit. Blood capacity, because we've ignored this, so it's super cheap. That'll do. I don't care about damage to buy, but maybe what we do care about... Is how much blood absorption we get from the bite? I've already increased this. We should keep doing this. I'm gonna start relying on blood absorption a little bit more now, so let's go all in on it. Go hard or go home. Boo! 
Okay, I've got 1,050 left. And if I can get for 1,050, oh, I should have got all of AG. Damn. 1,050. What can I get for 1,050? Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can be cured of vampirism. If I can make the antidote. But I don't know how you make the antidote. Right, has anything gone wrong here? The Whitechapel police have been... Okay, Swansea's gone missing. Because he's dead. Yeah, it's now critical at the hospital, which is yeah, kind of what I expect. All these people are cured, right? Sort of. I think. Yeah, look at it. Climbed up 2%. Anything going to happen here? No, 0%. That is just doomed forever. Lucius Dawson's dead. Didn't seem to make a difference. I think all the... Yeah, um, Sean Hampton, who is missing. Ah! Oh, I want to check in on Sean. Didn't he turn into like a crazy... Um, Didn't he start a cult? Or something? We never went back to check on him, did we? <laughs> okay, okay. I, th I feel like we're getting towards the end of the game, so... I want to do some cleanup detail. Don't like... Oh. I didn't did the vast majority of these. Doing pretty well, actually. Okay, where's Sean again, then? Let me try to remember where Sean is. Um, he's down by the docks, right? Oh, yeah, he's down here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff down at the docks. We're heading in that direction, anyway, so it's okay. There's actually no one left that I want to murder, unfortunately. I know it's very upsetting, but... The only other person who was on my murder list, I... Is that true? Is there anyone else on my murder list? I didn't want to kill anyone in the posh place, which was... Strange for me, frankly. Although I haven't met three people still. Um, I did want to murder the priest, but he's already dead, so great. Um, don't think there's anyone in the hospital I want to kill. Because you guys won't let me kill Milton. I haven't met like half the bloody docks. Oh, we'll head back to the docks now. Generally speaking, there's not that many people I want to kill. Oh, right. Did I not read that enough? Can I still read it? Am I still allowed? Ah. See, I knew we did the right thing with Lucius. And it will turn out we did the right thing with Swansea as well. I have faith. Yeah, there was Sean did seem chill. Did you not miss what happened afterwards? Because I spared Sean, but it turned out he started, like, people started to disappear, basically. And there's, like, a cult kind of thing going on at his um, sanctuary, and his sanctuary that he was running to protect people has been since shut down. So, yeah. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I can go this way. Tuna red onion. Tuna red onion. And, jeez. Amazing. So I don't think we messed up with Sean. Well, you guys all told me not to kill him. I don't think I would have killed him anyway. Like, you can't always... This is For me, this isn't about predicting what is going to go wrong, right? Because it's about doing what you would do morally in that situation and letting the chips fall where they would. I don't, I don't, I don't want to game the system. I don't want to try to win. I want to just play my character how I would play my character, you know? And then whatever happens, happens. Basically. I don't care about the endings and stuff, I just want to let, let it happen. Alright, the docks are not in a good shape. That is kind of Sean's fault. I trusted you, Sean, and you turned out to be bloody mental, didn't you? How do I get across there? Maybe further down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dinarchus, Sean turned out to not be the greatest. 
Oh, for God's sake. Hello? Oh, maybe. Sneaky. Sneaky. Look at that booty. Oof. Alright, I should get a lot more blood from this now, right? Bloody annihilated him, that dude. He's nine levels lower. It's very rare for me to come up against such low level creatures. It depends, like a lot of enemies are resistant to shadow and it's a shadow spell, so. It's really hard to know ahead of time what's gonna happen. This was it, wasn't it? Isn't this Sean's thing right here? Hello? Who are you? Do I know you? I know you. When you sick. Good evening, young. There's no need young man. I'm per No, you're fine. Have you heard anything recently concerning Sean Hampton's shelter? I heard he had a scam of his own. A cult or something. <sighs> Show me what you got anything. Oh, cool. Otherwise, oh, absolutely. Oh, hello. Hey, what else did he have? Good evening, young man. There's no. Show me what you. What I should do, actually. Oh, aluminium. Oh, I need a better one, didn't I? What I should be doing now that I think about it is trying to make an absolute fortune. Because then we can talk to the psychic and he will actually turn our money into. Um, Hints about other people. And 150 a bloody pop though, so if we can hit at least 600, that'd be good. It's gonna be tight. Not gonna make it. Oh, okay, 12. What have I got? I don't need these. There we go. Loaded! Yeah, Vic. Good evening, Miss Gillingham. Me of course. Enid! I wondered where Enid was. She's sick, right? I've got you, Enid. Don't worry, babes. Sir? Do you recall? I'm a Goodbye. Has everyone just been cured? Oh, because of the Everyone's been cured. Because of what we did with Aloysius. Oh, never mind. All these bloody medications are worthless. Who? Who's Rodney? Eh. Eh. Ah, the only place where everyone's dead is in Whitechapel. And that's because everyone is dead in Whitechapel. <laughs> Basically. Right, so where's Sean's thing? Is it down here? Yeah, hi. I'm not really that interested. Where was it again? Ow, oh, stop it. How just happened? Hey, up. Let's pin him down. The damage! Again, they are low level, but I don't care. It's cool. Bang! Right, the sword. I hear that bloody baby again. Huh? Make a bot? Well, we knew that. Yo, I really can't remember where this is. Chapow! Guys, where was Sean? He was on the docks. But where? Right? Wasn't he? Was he not on the docks? Was he? No, he wasn't Southwark. Maybe he was on the other side of the docks? What are these events? Well done, you're very spooky. Congratulations. Can I jump up there? No. Ooh. 
Lottie Paxton. That was a mistake. Oh, be quiet, Lottie. Who's Lottie? Am I meant to know who you are? these people okay well that's the event that happened there what's the event that happened there oh that was it was wasn't it where am i i'm in here lottie and giselle's missing when these lost well we know we're here that was the sister I liked. What happened to you? Why did she go? She just got infected, I guess. Maybe it was Sean's fault. Dyson, loads of people are missing in this area. I need to find out what's going on with Sean. Jeez, Anakin. No! I wonder if I could have done anything about that. I suspect if we stopped Sean, perhaps. Yo, can someone find out where Sean is? Because I'm honestly like, just wandering around, achieving nothing at this point. Ah! Night shelter! It's around here somewhere. I remember coming up here. Oh, that's him. That was... That was her sister. That was Giselle. Lottie became a vampire... Lottie became a skull, and her sister became a vampire hunter. What the hell has gone on in this district? <laughs> 